With a height of 0.8, distance from the transect. Along the cool shores of the Lake Superior watershed, just past where the water meets the land, a team of researchers has been observing the wildlife who live in the wilderness. Their subjects, the predator-prey combination of wolves and moose. We are in Isle Royale National Park, and one of the really cool things about Isle Royale is the historic wolf-moose relationship. And in the recent years, in the last decade or two, the wolf population has really crashed, and that has meant that there's an increase in the moose population. Isle Royale has a boreal ecosystem on the northeast side and temperate northern hardwoods on the southwest side. And we're look, interested in looking at the impacts of moose across that spectrum of ecosystem. It's got a DBH of 37.6. And the browse in the past 10 years has become very One. severe. And the park does not currently have, or up until this year, have a, a park-led monitoring program. And so what our objective with uh, browse monitoring is, is to get people out measuring moose browse before wolves are reintroduced on Isle Royale. This kind of a training program for, for young interns in the park where they can go out and do the work and learn and get dirty and basically get a full spectrum of what it means to do research in the National Park Service. I, I grew up in Michigan and as a kid, um, my dad exposed me to this place. He, he brought me here when I was like 12 years old, we backpacked the island. And it, it really like getting that experience kind of kind of touched something deep inside me where I was like, man, this is a cool place and, and I want to do everything I can so I could, you know, maybe someday take my kids here and. Yeah, doing science in a place like this is really enjoyable because you get to be outside every day. Definitely the opportunity to be able to incorporate that into a job is awesome. I love it. It's my favorite part is the being able to hike, you know, miles at a time every day and go look out over these amazing outlooks and then at the same time come back and collect the data that you need. It's good. It's a good mix. I love it. Um, like I said before, I'm an animal scientist, so working with the vegetation is very new to me, but I've liked learning about all the new plants and I can point stuff out to people and point out moose browse and show what's going on with our vegetation on the island. It's been great to see a new flux of people come in this year and, and see them get excited about plants and animals and, and talking to people and also seeing that the work that we're doing is having a direct impact on the management of the park.